welcome back to Happy Science FAQs. Today's question is, does Happy Science view money as the root of all evil? The answer is no. No. Mm. We believe that when money is used in, with a good um, purpose, mm -hmm. we strongly believe that the prosperity, prosperity or wealth is very important. Right. Mm. Um, because when money, yeah, because money is neutral, mm. um, if you have somebody with bad intentions using money, then the results will be bad. But if it's somebody with good intentions, using it for a good purpose mm -hmm. and the means is good, then money can bring about a lot of good. So that's why money is seen as neutral. And um, if it does cause evil and it does cause a lot of problems, well, the problem is not money itself, but uh, the mind of the, the person using the money. Mm -hmm. So that's why Master Akal teaches about the mind and how to control the mind. And in fact, because money, when used properly and for good, uh, can bring about so much good, such as um, the time when there weren't any public libraries or mm -hmm. hospitals, uh, the um, millionaires and billionaires of that era, they donated their money to create these things uh, for the public good and um, really kind of added to society. Uh, he is today teaching people how uh, you can actually uh, increase your ability to make money. And uh, the way to make money is, Master Akal's approach is not to take money from where it exists in point A over to yourself, uh, resulting in there being less in you know, point A. It's not like there's a limited money supply and when you get more, somebody else, it means that somebody else has less. No, Master Akal is saying that actually money can be generated. In other words, to use an analogy, he said that instead of people feeling like there's a single pie and if one person takes a big chunk of it, that means less pie for everyone else, we and every one of us is capable of baking more pies. And that Master Ka calls the enlightenment of wealth. Mm -hmm. So that's what he's teaching us and encouraging us to be able to do. Yeah. Um, and also we, we've learned that there are many great angels that uh, who became a great producer of wealth right, and yeah. bigger companies like Henry Ford, mm -hmm. um, Andrew Carnegie, yes, Bill Gates, John F. Rockefeller, yes, Bill Gates. Yes. So yeah, um, I think it's also an enlightenment mm -hmm. to become wealthy. And one of the important teaching at Happy Science is that the importance of giving love. And yes, as Eri said, when you have a good um, intention and use that money to make other people happy. I think that's very um, important. Right, mm -hmm. money can go a long way. Master yes. Akal once said that um, money can solve maybe like, a, what was it, 70% of problems? I think so, yeah, like 80 or 70. Yeah, Most 80 or 70. Of your, yeah. yeah, and if you think about it, mm, it's a little true. <laughs> <laughs> You wouldn't be so stressed out. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> you would have more peace of mind. Yeah. Um, and he's not saying that uh, be materialistic or mm. anything. Um, his teachings are much deeper than that. And by it, it is uh, instead of us denying wealth, instead of uh, us feeling like money is the root cause of all evil. Um, and another reason not to think that is Master Ka said that. Uh, people who have tried to live a uh, minimalist life, um, such as monks of the past, he's noticed that even though they might have denied material possession in their hearts, their attachment to it and their desire for material things, then uh, uh, he noticed is very, very, very strong. So just kind of lessening the amount of money you hold on to doesn't really extinguish your desire for money, your thirst for money. 
So, um, of course, one way is to go straight to that desire itself and extinguish it because that can lead you to feeling carefree um, and liberated, just as you would feel in heaven. It's a wonderful state of mind. But um, also, if you can, with that state of mind, generate more money and help others out of poverty or help others out of financial problems, help others who are maybe, you know, uh, at the brink of seeing their company go bankrupt. Um, instead of uh, putting in money there to save them, uh, which is the equivalent of taking somebody to the emergency room, there's a lot of uh, preemptive things that can be done if that person um, knew how to use money well, knew how to generate money well, knew how to manage money well. So these are the teachings that he is putting out for us. Yeah, yeah, and um, also, even if you might feel like I don't have any money, so I can't give anything, mm. but um, we happy science don't think the amount is important. I mean, of course, the more you can give, the more the better, and you, it it is true that you can help more people, but. The mindset, what kind of mindset you have is the most important, right. I think. Yes. Even if you give a dollar, if it's if that's a dollar out of ten dollar and let's say that ten dollar is all you have, it's a big amount right. to donate right. egoistly. Right. right. So yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, I hope we were able to answer your questions. If you have any questions, please message us and we hope to see you soon. Bye. You